Hi, this is how your video looks when you're... This is a pebble stitch. This is knit and crochet together. And this is how your pebble stitch looks when you're going back on the second row of your pebble stitch. Okay, first you're going to knit a row, purl back a row. We're on purling back the row. You're on the flat side. This is the bumpy side. See the bumps? You're on the flat side. You're purling back this way. Then you're going to be on this side again. And you're going to be knitting two together all the way across. Two, 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 two. And then we're going to go across on this side again. So don't get mixed up. On the flat side, we're going to knit one. Knit the horizontal stitch in between the stitches. Knit one. Knit the horizontal stitch between the stitches. Knit one. Knit the horizontal... Ah, I can't talk. Horizontal stitch between the stitches, knit one. Knit the horizontal stitch between the stitches, knit one, all the way across. And then you'll be getting back to the normal amount of stitches, which was 68 on this pebble stitch panel curtain. It's pretty much a panel. It's going to go on the kitchen. <clears throat> the kitchen. I want it there because... It keeps the flies and the bugs from coming in the kitchen when I'm cooking. And at the top, I'm going to I'm going to crochet around the whole thing because it's kind of hard to keep the the sides even. Then I'm going to crochet about this far up, fold it over, and so you can put a curtain rod in it. So that's the project I'm working on right now at Knit and Crochet Together. That's K-N-I-T-A-N-D-C-R-O-C-H-E-T-T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R. One word with E-V-E -E right after it, Eve, on YouTube videos. So I'll see you when we're progressing on this project. See my next video and see how long it is by then. Thank you.